Hello everyone, it's David from Automy Press. You probably heard the term Giga Casting or Giga Press a lot these days. And you're probably wondering exactly what is that and what benefit does it provide for us consumers who are buying cars and what kind of benefit does it provide for automakers who are trying to incorporate this new technology or new idea. As you know, I'm an engineer, but more specifically, production and manufacturing engineer who were really involved intimately with manufacturing of body panels and body structure. So I understand this intimately, and I'm gonna to try to explain to you in a very simple way exactly what is a Giga Press or Giga Casting, and why is that taking over the world of automotive engineering? Let's go. Welcome back. So I have the hood of my 2023 Lexus GX open here so you can see the um, engine compartment. Now, unfortunately, because the engine bay is so full of things, including the engine itself, it's a bit hard to see. But what's happening is that underneath the engine, there's a cradle that holds the engine in place. And there's a whole this structure in front of it and behind it that essentially make up the front part of this vehicle so that when you get into accident, that structure will observe the impact this hood will bend like accordion because it's designed to do so right here you can see the actual indentation and all that is designed to give you a safe environment but at the same time that means all these little pieces as much as 50 to 100 pieces have to be welded together to create this structure that forms the front part of the vehicle now how do i know that well as many of you guys know i'm an engineer by background but specifically manufacturing and production engineer that was involved in both the production and the product development of body structure. So I'm the guy who actually designed and built these structures and designed the equipment that manufactured these parts and welded them together in the, what we call the body shop or welding department. And it's one of the most complicated manufacturing process in the auto industry. That's because most of the robotics are there. But the gist of it is that the car companies have been trying to find a way to consolidate all these parts into larger pieces so that we don't have to assemble so many small pieces and weld them together. And that wasn't possible until Tesla, with the help of a supplier and engineering company, came up with a method to consolidate all these parts into a single casted part. So that's why we call it GigaCast, because it's a one large casting that is designed and built by a large equipment that is called GigaPress. GigaPress is extreme expensive and a very capital intensive equipment. So it's not like someone can just go and buy it and create a Giga casting. And that's why it took Tesla many years to figure this out. But eventually they did, and they were able to put all these small pieces together into a single casting, which is stronger, more durable, much cheaper to make, but most of it was much faster. Instead of taking 15, 20 minutes or even a half an hour to assemble the front section of the car, the Giga Casting can create this in just a matter of seconds and therefore shrinking the manufacturing time by a substantial amount. So now almost all the car companies are interested in doing this, including Toyota, which is planning to incorporate the first Giga Cast in its future electric car. And once again, this is not an easy thing to do. And you also have to keep in mind serviceability so that if you get into an accident, you don't have to replace the entire casting, which would be very expensive. So I figured the best way to maybe explain this is to talk straight to the person who knows this the best, which is the president of the Toyota Battery Electric Vehicle Factory, Mr. Kato. And I interviewed him in Japan because that way he can explain to us exactly what's going on. Hi guys, I'm very excited because I'm with the battery electric vehicle factory president Kato-san who is responsible for making so much dramatic changes for future electric car production that you know what I might not be able to even explain to you in this short video but I'm going to attempt to do that I had a long lengthy discussion with, uh, with Kato-san and you guys know that I have a manufacturing background so this is of special interest to me but first I just want to thank him for amazing explanation wow. today and he's going to kind of give me emotional support by standing here for me. But a couple of interesting things. You guys are hearing about this so-called Giga Press uh, manufacturing, which is transforming the automobile manufacturing by eliminating a whole bunch of small parts that are being put together and changing that over to a casting method where you pour uh, aluminum into a cast and then you create a single piece uh, structure that will replace many 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 parts that were welded together however there's some misunderstanding based on what I spoke to him about and he's pointed out that for example there's a front 
and a rear section for casting. But I asked a question as an example, what happens if you get into an accident and your casting is you know, basically uh, damaged because you can't replace the whole casting at a repair shop afterward. And one thing he mentioned to me is that actually the casting is nested toward the back of the driver inside the vehicle. It's not the frontal section because if it's the frontal section, even a minor accident can damage the structure and it will be impossible to repair. Uh, so actually it is the inner structure, what we call the front end uh, or front uh, under is a proper term. And it's uh, just behind the bumper, just behind the wheels, but in front of the dash panel. And it's structurally very important because it holds together the front end, giving you that important uh, agility and important stability when you drive. But the parts are embedded behind many other, some other parts, including the bumpers. And that will allow uh, the repairability to be reasonable because even if you get into a very major accident, they, they know exactly where the frontal um, crumple zones are and the crumple zones are ahead of the structure and that will avoid having to repair or replace the giga casting which is really not practical or possible. So that's something that he mentioned to me. He, he talked about the back end also, same idea. The actual giga casting is not right at the bumper. So if you're rear ended, it's not affecting or damaging the actual structure itself but it is behind the bumper, closer to the passenger side. However, they are not doing giga casting for the center portion in the middle, which is something that you might have heard. Some, some other media is talking about how Toyota or other companies are going to replace even a center section with a giga casting type. That is not true because center portion is combined with a battery, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have to have a giga casting to save money and time because it's not a whole bunch of little parts coming together anyways. But instead, the battery itself can become the structural um, reinforcement, if you will, and therefore the battery itself and then also some other material surrounding it will form the baseline for the center portion. Unfortunately, he's not able to tell me exactly what the method is for manufacturing the center portion yet but he confirmed it doesn't have to be casting at all. So that's first of all, very interesting thing that he said. And then, so in terms of the reducing time and reducing cost by moving to giga casting because there's less parts. Well, again, keep in mind that they're going to keep and maintain the same Toyota production system. That system is not changing. So things like just in time, Kaizen, Kanban, One Piece Flow, that's all staying put. They're not changing that by moving to giga casting. However, you have less number of steps because the giga casting in the front and one in the back will replace many, many parts and therefore we will reduce time altogether. But essentially, they're going to continue to use the tried and true for the production system because that is the most effect effective and the most efficient system. So the, you know, he wanted to emphasize that because they have years and years of experience with lean manufacturing, what we call agile thinking these days, and to the production system, they're able to change dramatically to a different type of uh, product development because the Toyota production system is there as a backbone to the new way of thinking. For those of you who are familiar with the Obea concept, uh, you might appreciate this. Obea concept is bringing together a different functionality from different departments to come up with a singular vision for designing a product development and also manufacturing method and that's what they've been doing for a long time. However, they come together in Obeya room, discuss a whole bunch of ideas, but then they used to go back to their, um, their departments or their um, places where they came from, could be different building, could be different location, and they have to then figure things out again and come together again for further discussion. Versus the new way, which is what we call agile thinking in North America, is where they are permanently stationed in Obeya room and therefore all of the functional departments and the group leaders are together and not only are they discussing ideas, sharing ideas, but then they don't actually go back somewhere else. They stay there to continue working on it, refining it, and it's a matter of just tapping on someone's shoulder or catching someone at the water cooler virtually maybe, but be able to discuss ideas and therefore the problems get solved really quickly through the Kaizen thinking. So therefore the Kaizen system is enhanced through the Obea system, through the Agile thinking, and that is going to speed up the manufacturing for future electric cars, and that's what this is all about. Super exciting. Hopefully I can share with you guys more. For now, I'm gonna sign off. Let's thank 
Katosa uh, again for all the great work as a president of a bed factory. What an honor and what an important position that he has. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.